For this assignment, I researched the photographer Mary Ellen Mark, who is known for her photojournalism and documentary style photography. She is also known for photographing subjects who are different or outside of society. Her goal was to give visibility to the invisible, according to an article from NPR and also made evident by her work. In other words, her goal was to give exposure to people who needed it most. Her important works, like those similar, give a voice to the voiceless. Her works help people see the lives others may have to live because of cultural or societal reasons. I found most of her work to fall under the ethically evaluative photographic category. This is because of the purposeful storytelling these photographs do. They are trying to bring awareness to a social cause just like the lectures and reading explained. The ways in which her work were published varied from films, books, and in print, such as Life, The New York Times, and The Rolling Stones. These varying publications help her stories reach the masses, which is exactly the point of her photographs. I also found some of her photographs to fall under the interpretive category because of the usage of more staging, such as models and props. Her approaches to photography are different because Mark is said to let her subjects drive the shot, not herself. She even said, I find that the subject gives you the best idea about how to make a photograph, so I usually just wait for something to happen. In some photos, that's, it's pretty clear that staging is, was involved, probably allowing the subject some freedom. However, there are also more candid shots that are less interpretive. The first and second photo that you're going to see are of a, of a child prostitute named Tiny, who at the time lived on the streets and was pregnant with her first child. This photo was from 1985, and Mary followed her over the course of many years. Um, it seemed like there's little staging and Tiny was allowed to do whatever she wanted. And then in this photo from 1989, four years later, Tiny is seen with presumably another child that she had since the child she was pregnant with. Um, and it keeps people interested in her life because they're seeing her over the course of many years. The third photo I found was from 1978, and it pictures several prostitutes from India waiting for clients. Um, and I liked this photo because it showed me how it's easy to forget the, the lives of people from other countries or cultures can be very different from ours, but these photographs help us to understand and also not forget. This candid, ethically evaluative photo of Mother Teresa um, it shows less staging from Mark and more of a candid shot of Mother Teresa doing what she did most of her life, what she was most known for, which is helping others. A more interpretive photo of Clayton Moore is seen here from 1992. Um, he's also known as the Lone Ranger and he's posing with a prop in his Lone Ranger costume, giving a peek into his life, which is what Mary Ellen Mark wanted to do. And finally, this interpretive photo of Tiny from 1983 before she had any children um, has her posed in the middle, dressed up very nicely, blowing a bubble that could be considered the prop, and she's clearly the center of this photo. And it can almost represent her as appearing older than she really is, much like a child prostitute does. Mary used her photographical skills to give viewers a look into the outcasts of society or the invisible people in our society. Her skills told a story of those people that needed to be told, and they're simply incredible.